News in the world of Bill Wright, and this is a big one. Major update news. Early preview of the next content update is out right now on their new Steam branch. That is a preview branch. You can choose to opt into this preview branch by going to Steam, right click on Bell Wright, go to Properties, click on Betas, type in the password, yes I made backups, which yes they copied from Valheim, and yes you should make backups, and use a different save, because if you go forward, you can't go back until things are updated overall on that save. And then you go right up here and choose Preview Branch. You can back up your save through the cloud, of course, or you can go to see users, your username, app data, local, bell right, saved, save games. And what's going to be in this major content update? Some hefty stuff, let me tell you. Let's take a closer look. These are the things you'll be testing out if you choose to help them with the preview branch and make sure that you report any bugs you find. Forester. Added a forester where players and NPCs can grow saplings and replant forest. Yay! Added tree seeds that drop when harvesting saplings. Staging ground. Added staging ground where players can assign their companions to it instead of having to use the priority system, you know. They will stock up on food from nearby storages and await further orders at its location. Can you say preparing for a raid? They also added a food bag allowing players and NPCs to store food in a separate container instead of the inventory. That's a huge one. Brigand Headquarters. Some good changes here. Improved and extended the final quest after killing Lord Ashburn. Added unique dialogues to Lord Ashburn when meeting him before the battle. Removed incorrect lines from Lord Ashburn outside of dialogue. This is good because a lot of people were saying they couldn't even tell they were fighting Lord Ashburn. Didn't even realize it was happening until afterwards. And so it's definitely going to be more highlighted now what's happening at the time. Significantly improved NPC navigation in headquarters, allowing for much smoother combat with big armies. Blocked unfinished areas that aren't supposed to be accessible yet. Fixed some wooden walkways and the balcony not being accessible by NPCs. Fixed various other issues by spreading out or grouping closer together decorations. Tier 3 improvements. We have quite a few here and some really good ones too. Overhauled bakery gameplay loop to allow for a consistent bread production that feeds the town, requiring larger wheat fields to support it. Some of the ways they did this, increased bread output in bakery from 1 to 8 per craft and all other recipes from 1 to 3. That's good because it was too low. Increased flour output and windmill from 1 to 5 per craft. Same thing. Increased grain requirement per flour from 3 to 6, effectively making the recipe 30 grains equals 5 flour. Changed windmill worker job category from cooking to crafting. Makes sense. Changed wheat category from food ration to resource so they don't store it in the food cellar. Thank goodness. And in other storage areas too. Changed windmill to require a worker to reflect much higher crafting efficiency. Fixed various floating decorations in the windmill. Added new unique recipes to in that have status effects useful for players. Curious what those are going to be. Increased warehouse storage volume from 2,500 to 6,500. They're doing this incrementally because once they move it up, they can't go back down. And so they're adding more as we need it. Trying to find that sweet spot. Increased big house and PC capacity from 5 to 7. Maybe it'll be more worth making it now. Added four foraging racks to foraging lodge. Hopefully they won't get stuck on them. Moved apiary from tier 2 to tier 3 as it can't be researched this early and honey has no use before tier 3. I suppose that makes sense. Increased sage requirement and honey from 3 to 5 to reflect the change in apiary tiers. Replaced cured rope with rope in coal burner recipe to fix a resin deadlock. That's good. So they're finding a lot of these little details in the flow that need to be adjusted. Remove smithing requirement when crafting at the workshop to remove the iron hammer deadlock. Removed fast travel from town hall. It was an experimental feature that had broken functionality. What do y'all think about that one? Should they try and get it fixed and put it back in? 
Fixed various navigation issues in Tier 3 buildings where NPCs would get stuck. There are a lot of them on Tier 3 buildings. There's some on T2 buildings too, which hopefully they'll be looking at. Fix some NPC interactables in Tier 3 buildings not being accessible when a building is placed on extreme hills. This also happens on some T2 stuff. Maybe not as extreme, but I'm thinking of like the weaving hut that gets stuck there a lot. Fix various issues with decorations in Tier 3 buildings. Wrong collision setup and locations resulting in flying or clipping. Fixed mashed potatoes and beetroot jam not being possible to craft by players. That's nice. Fixed floating fences and flowers and lawns. Fixed lumber mill being possible to be built partially inside hills. Fixed apiary map icon using meat. Okay, gameplay improvements. Here we go. Increased spoilage time for food that doesn't regrow. This includes meat, cook dishes, and special raw food like cloudberries. Yay. That's really good to see. Spend all this time cooking stuff and it's just gone so fast. It should last longer if it's cooked. Removed and adjusted NPC profession requirements for researching Tier 2 equipment in Toolmaker and Weaver Hut. I wonder if that's for all of them or just specific ones. I'll have to check. Changed metal helmets crafted in Weaver Hut to Toolmaker. Yeah, that was odd. Made it possible to destroy saplings growing in forests by hitting them with a weapon. Handy. Fixed book reading and other status effects, sometimes getting stuck when loading the game after sleeping. Fixed knowledge book loot, never dropping one-handed books. Thank you to our modders for finding this issue. Fixed rabbit traps, sometimes not being accessible by trappers. Combat. Added new down block animation for two-handed weapons. Good. Wonder how blocking against wolves is going. Increase the size and duration of blood particles to make them more prominent. Okay, I guess some people like that. <laughs> User interface. Added the word broken to broken items when searching for deliveries and for storage management and stockpiles. That's good. Before you just had to choose the second one in the list, but unless you'd been told that's the broken one, you didn't know. Added warnings to the research desk screen to show missing requirements for the research. A lot of this is just continuing to iterate and try to think, make things more clear. Added new category to stockpile storage management. For knowledge books, quest items, old coins, and animal trophies. This is good. Because when you have so many things in those few categories, the list can get really, really long. Especially with all of the books piled in with everything else. So that's handy. Improve various alignments and positions of various screens and menus. Added words highest and lowest when selecting priorities to make it clearer. Yeah, I was surprised how many people thought that nine was highest and one was lowest, even though zero was right after nine. But I guess, you know, from playing some other games, that's what some people thought. Fix clicking on specify amount in the storage menu, enabling an item that was previously disabled. So that's handy. Then they have some text and localization fixes, and then some various random fixes, including this one is interesting. Fix shooting corpses, giving archery experience, and lowering trust on mutilating animal corpses. I mean, if I saw someone mutilating an animal corpse, it would lower my trust in them. But I don't think that's what this is about. Lots of great things coming our way. Let me know what you think about these and any feedback that you have for the devs. Share your comments. Let them know on Discord. Until next time, happy gaming.